Hello everyone, my name is Ali Sheikh Al-Islami and I'm the Education Chair of ISCCC. In this video, I would like to share with you some ideas on how to make the best of virtual ISCCC 2021. The virtual ISCCC offers three packages to its attendees. These are education, innovations, and exploration. Education includes a total of 12 tutorials on 12 different topics and a short course which consists of four one hour and a half lectures on PLL, clocking and clock distributions. This year all the ISCCC material will be available to you on demand as early as Friday February 5th and will remain online until March 31st. In addition to the on-demand content there will be short Q&A sessions for each of the tutorials, the short course, regular papers, and the forum talks. The innovations package includes all the 200 technical papers and special sessions, plus their associated live Q&A. The exploration package includes six forums, each exploring a new frontier in an area relevant to the solid state circuits. Each forum consists of eight talks of 45 minutes in duration. Like the other two packages, all the forum material will be available on demand ahead of their live Q&A sessions. Here is a quick summary of what I said on the previous slide, plus some information on the registration fee for each package and the release dates of the on-demand content. The registration fee is $400 for any one package, $700 for any two packages, and $900 for all three packages, that is for all content. Please note that if you're a student, your registration fee is reduced to $400 for the entire conference. The on-demand content of all educational material, technical papers, and special sessions will be made available as of Friday, February 5th at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The plenary talks will be released on Monday, February 15th, 7 a.m. PSD, and the forums will be released on February 12th, at 5 p.m. PSD. Please note that the on-demand content includes both the presentations for download and their associated videos for streaming. Here's the schedule for the live content of ISCCC 2021. The live sessions begin on Saturday, February 13th and continue until Monday, February 22nd. The live Q&A sessions usually take about two hours, two hours and a half, starting at 7 a.m. and ending at 9.30 a.m., all Pacific Standard Time. After the live Q&A sessions, there is one hour of mentoring on February 15th and an hour of demo videos, author interviews, and book displays on February 16th, 17th, and 18th. All other details should be self-explanatory. Please feel free to pause this video and take a screenshot for your ease of reference. In the remaining minutes of this video, I would like to share some tips on how to plan your attendance. Virtual conference saves you travel time and expenses and allows you to see papers from the comfort of your home, but you still need to spend time to fully enjoy the conference. The time, however, can be spread over a larger number of days. For some of you who attended previous ISCCCs, you typically spend five days, eight hours a day to fully attend a conference. In 2021, we ask you to spend about four hours a day, but over 10 days or more. So there is no saving in time, but the spreading in time. With this format, you can split your time between personal life, work, and the conference. If you're attending ISCCC this year, you need to set your goals and expectations of your attendance early, and you need to set them right. You need to ask yourself what you would like to get out of your attendance. You need to go through the advanced program and decide which material you would like to see and in what order. Remember, technically speaking, you can watch all the tutorials, short course, all the 200 papers, and all the forum talks. But I very much doubt if you have time and interest to see all of them. 
So please choose according to your interest and time availability and your other time commitments. Set realistic expectations and make a personal ISCCC calendar accordingly. To give you an example, I'm happy to share with you my own personal plans for attending ISSCC. Here's my initial wish list. In education package, I would like to see two out of 12 tutorials, and I would like to see the entire short course. I'm also interested in seeing all the four plenary talks. Among the regular paper sessions, I'm interested in a subset of papers from Wireline, plus a few on analog circuits. So I have set a target for myself of seeing 20 regular papers. Among the forums, I like to see select talks on silicon photonics and on electronics for quantum computing. I am interested in seeing eight talks among these two forums. The third column on this table shows the minimum time required to watch the tutorials, papers, forum talks that I have chosen. As you can see, for me just to watch the videos, Without pausing and rewinding, I need a total of 32 hours. If I add reasonable amount of time for possible pause and rewind, I actually need 48 hours. But this is not all. I must also find time to attend the live Q&A sessions associated with these papers. Let us add those in the next slide. Here's my daily activity plan around ISCCC. Looking at the live sessions in the right column, I realize that I need an additional 14 hours of time, bringing my total time commitment to 62 hours. This is about 20 hours beyond what I can afford, so I need to go back and give up some items on my wish list. Alternatively, I could twist my own arms and free up an additional 4 to 5 days, 4 hours each, to absorb all these goodies. Knowing myself, I think I will just do this. You may wonder what to do if you fall behind. The good news is that all the content, including the Q&A sessions, which will be recorded by the way, will remain online and on demand until March 31st, so you can easily catch up. We at the Executive Committee of ISCCC understand that no virtual format can fully replace the in-person experience of attending ISCCC, especially when it comes to the socializing part of the conference, its coffee breaks, and its ice cream. However, we think that there are also advantages to the virtual format. In fact, we think the ability to pause and rewind videos from the comfort of your home and submitting questions online at your own time to be picked up by the authors at the Q&A sessions may be better for learning, understanding, and exploring. On behalf of the ISCCC Executive Committee, I wish you a great experience with the virtual ISCCC this year. Thank you for watching this video and for possibly recommending it to your friends and colleagues.